outside Grassenheller. Here we are, miss, in a jiffy as promised. Haha, <laughs> well, this brings back memories. I haven't been to Grassenheller for a long time now. It's hard to change at all. Are, are you alright? Sorry, oh, yes, I'm fine. So, they say it has a long and distinguished history, this college. Yes, that's right. It's one of the top two in London. Well, it sort of looks the part. The buildings have the, that particular character about them that says this is a center of learning. Oh, look! There's a constable who saw the Scotland Yard. Ah, what if he arrests me? Relax, he looks like he's busy investigating at the moment. In fact, why don't you ask him how his inquiries are coming along? Oh, I hope they found something that proves I couldn't have done it. Ah, the Popoyo guy! Nice! Uh, yeah, flowers. Beautiful flowers. Uh, let's see. Nothing here. Maybe here? No. Oh, there's something here. Crusty old car! Wow, talk about being mean! Nice! Uh, I found all three now, let's see. First, the point guy with the puzzle, apparently. So this is London. So many big buildings. San Grillo seems a very long, long way away now. First, I will sell my Poponios here, and then, when everyone what they are, I will sell them all over the world. When Poponios are famous, San Grillo will be famous. And when Sangria is famous, we will have the more have more tourists and everyone will be happy. So it's party time! Poponio selling party! Is there a festival today? There's a man or a rabbit or someone over there dancing. Oh, is our proposal out of his rucksack? Look! Rocket reshuffle. Okay. These rockets are being tested out to see how they launch and land. Each rocket can only move to a launching pad that is the same number of spaces away as the number it displays. Okay. Rockets rockets can fly over the, over other rockets, but cannot land on a launching pad that are already occupied by a rocket. Select the rocket you want to move, then pick the launch pad, pad where you want it to touch down. Position the, ro the three rockets in 3 to 1 order from left to right without any gaps. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Let me check. Ah, okay, okay, so that's how it is. Ah! Okay, okay, okay. You hear? Wait, what the? You hear? You hear? And that led me to absolutely nowhere. Okay, I'll cut and see if I can figure out this one out. See you guys in a few. Wait, why are, why are you the one solving this puzzle? You still don't like he, you know, work with Miss Layton? Oh, whatever. You did it, the, text was, the test was, success, the, was a success. By moving rocket one to the right hand edge, you can reverse the order of rockets. There's a nice step, which is kind of what I did. Um, excuse me, I think this puzzle may have fallen out of your rucksack. Oh, thank you. You people of London are so kind. If you like, keep, keep you can keep. Blech. If you like, you can keep the puzzle. Goodbye, Jesus. What about you? What do you have to say? I think you'll find that Grassenhall University is one of the most prestigious in all of London. 
Many old grass inhalers, open bracket, but a mouthful, close bracket, have gone to become famous academics, politicians, and artists. Well, that's very impressive. That means you're an academic high flyer, then, doesn't it, Ernest? Oh, uh, well, <laughs> thank you for the compliment, miss. That's very flattering. This is not the time to be feeling pleased with yourself. If the police manage to pee this afternoon, you'll be an infamous grass inhaler, not a famous one. Yes, sorry, you're quite right. Hello, 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 what have we here? If it isn't the one very fellow Inspector Hastings brought in for a question before. You are discharged, lad. What are you doing here? Thought better of it and came to confess, have you? No, definitely not. I didn't do it. I'm rather intrigued by the case, Constable. I heard some research papers were stolen, is that right? No money, no other valuables? Were the documents worth anything per se? Oh, they happen to have been the very important research papers of Dr. Genie Ohm. Genie Ohm? I... No, I don't get what the name's supposed to be a pun on. Ah, who is this Dr. Genie Ohm? Oh, I can feel you in that, that front, miss. He's one of the most influential researchers in the field of plant genetics. He's published countless revolutionary papers on the subject. He's actually the reason I, enroll, I enrolled here. I want to study under him for years now. Oh, really? And on your first day you managed to be accused of stealing his work. <laughs> well, yes, somehow I did. Apparently the results of Dr. Holmes' current research have been heavily anticipated by boffins all over the world for some time. So you believe, madame, that it most likely is worth a bob or two. I see. It's cutting-edge research, isn't it? The sort of scientific discovery that money can buy, is that the idea? Precisely, madam. So we're investigating accordingly, our inquiry inquiries are ongoing. Or inquiries. Yes, of course. Thank you, Constable. Wait. I'm pretty sure your police is not supposed to... He probably should have told you all that information there, because... Again, you're technically an unknown, but whatever. Well, Ernest, it looks like the police are well underway with their investigation. Though there is not a moment to lose. Why not, miss? Because we want to prove your innocence before they do. Or don't. It's not fun if you don't beat them to it. Fun? That's right, fun. So I think you'd better tell me your movements up to when the theft was discovered. What did you do today since you arrived? Where did you go? Who did you speak to? Tell me everything. Yes, movements. Well, today was my first day, as you know. Yes, and? I've been just dying to have my first lecture from Dr. Ohm. I think he's simply spiffing, you see. Yes, I was looking for, for more for hard facts, Ernest. I suddenly found myself standing outside the gates of this withered university, thinking to myself, that's not really re re relevant at the moment, you see. Well, so when I took my first step, my very first footprint in the metaphorical snow of the campus, it was really nothing short of momentous. Yeah, this guy, Ernest, really likes embellishing stories. He'd be a good storyteller, at least. So to sum it up, you walk through the university gates. All right then, let's follow in your momentous, momentous footsteps of our other day, shall we? So Miss Layton started investigating the case in order for us to prove my innocence. I was terrified that the accusation would stick, that I'd be branded a criminal. But little by little, as I saw how confident she was, my nerves started to settle. Oh, it's a rose, nice. High profile research. I don't know why, but I thought it was gonna be a diploma, but no, yeah, a rose makes sense considering what you're, you know, investigating. Now let's go to the next area. Alright then, Ernest. We established you enter the university grounds. Then what? 
is this strictly necessary? I mean, are my movements in the lead up of the theft really important? Wouldn't it be better to go straight to the scene of crime and investigate there first? No, I have a feeling that understanding your movements is a way to go. Is, is there anything more to it than a feeling, miss? Don't worry, Anders. Trust your instincts, or more, or more precisely, trust mine. I see. It's your instincts that are guiding you. Alright then, I will. I am sure your instincts won't let me down. Haha, <laughs> thank you. So then, what did you do next? Oh, wait a minute. I just spotted another policeman over there. You mean that man? Yes, that's him. He's one of Inspector Hastings' men. Really? So he's a detective, is he? Yes, DC Booker, I think his name is. Let's hope he doesn't look book you then. Gosh, yes, I don't want that. Let's hide so he doesn't notice me. Don't be daft, Turnus. We should use the, opportuni the opportunity to ask him how his investigation is progressing. You don't mean... You're not actually going to go and speak with him, are you? Of course! If you keep just loitering here and giving him fur furtive glances, he'll definitely think we're, that I think we're suspicious. Well, alright then. I mean, she's not wrong. Now hold on a second, guys. I need to drink a bit of water. Much better. Now let's see. The doors of the university. Yeah. Well, windows of the university. Nice. Oh, more here? What the? Okay, there was a lot here. Yeah, hint coin. Yeah, DC Booker's there. Wait. I know I deserve something. Aha! There you go. Somet sometimes you need to trust your ear. Uh, oh, wait. I saw. I know I saw some some smoke around there. A puzzle. Does that wonder over there look a little odd to you, Ernest? Um, I don't think. I don't know. Does it? Gosh, you're right! There's a puzzle hiding on it! <laughs> two types of tile, two. Wait. Okay, it's not that one, okay. Some colorful tiling has been left with a few gaps. Can you use the two types of tiles to fill in the area without leaving any gaps at all? You can rotate tiles and use as many tiles as you need. As long as there is a, there is space, uh, as long as there is space left, what? The only thing you can do is place a tile over another tile, even partially. Ah, okay. So, for example, this one here would go here. A few inches later. Okay, let's start by building around this here, because this has to be a corner piece, right? Now let's see. Well, this one works. Uh, maybe? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, like this. Yeah, this fills it up entirely. Okay. And like this, we go like this. This one here, we go like this, which fills this. And this one, I guess we can go like... No, no, no. Nix, ho hold on, guys, hold on. Come back here. Nix, what are you? There, stay there, please. Uh, maybe like. Oh yeah, like this. I can I can see like this. Mm, this should do it, I think. And that's how it's done. You did it, you created a lovely polka dot pattern. Let's hope the poles didn't turn you dotty. Gave me a headache, that's what you mean. Ah, 
Ah, that's much better. Gosh, we're magnificent solving that. I wish I was so clever. Haha, <laughs> it's all about practice. I mean, she's not wrong. You do eventually get good at stuff you practice, so... Let's talk to you. Good day to you, detective. Hello. Wait. Don't I know you, young man? Let me see. Yes! Yes, you fitted a section here in my notes perfectly. Um, ah! Ernest Greaves, I believe. And you are... Where is it now? The prime suspect. No, I... I mean, yes, I am Ernest Greaves, but I was released earlier due to lack of evidence. Ah, yes. Yes, it does mention that here, actually. Well, I'm glad your, your notes are up to date, officer. Never go anywhere without my notebook. Mm, yes. I see here that we're in a number of other suspects in this case. Really? I didn't know that. Um, it says here that a number of other researchers were competing with Ohm in his field. Do we believe her? What do you believe? Ah, yes. We believe it might be a case of a rival academic trying to do this discredit, uh, discredit the professor. So, does it mean I'm, I'm off the hook? No, that's just one possibility. You're still forming the picture, I'm afraid. If you're still in the notebook, in my notebook, you're still a suspect. Oh. I see, yes. A world-famous professor would inevitably have a rival in his field, I suppose. So, let's carry on tracing your movements, Ernest. Did you enter the building next? No, no, I didn't do that. Really? You didn't go into the main building, even on your first day? No, you see, when I'd come this far, I suddenly caught a wonderful floral whiff, and I wandered off in search of the flowers that had made it. You let the smell of flowers divert your attention, you mean? Yes, that's right. I just popped over to that flower bed over there to have a look. Well, if you're following your footsteps, it looks like we'd better pop over, over to, to it again. It's just over here, there, around the side of the building. Following Miss Lipton's instinct, we started to carry out our investigation by retracing my steps that day. We relieved everything that I had done with the fateful morning up until the point when I was accused of stealing Dr. Ohm's work. I am a bit curious. Because it again six pieces, so it's like one, two, so it is three, four, and this. So one, the stem and the leaf are two. So three, four, and five, maybe? Wait. Oh no, I'm, I'm just very bad at math. This is two and this is four, so yeah, it makes five. It makes six. Boy, I'm bad at math. Okay, now I can believe this is more of a university, because again, university tends to be actually pretty big. Ooh, butterflies! So this is where the scent led you to. They are beautiful flowers, aren't they? R rather, it's a mar marvelous display, isn't it? Such a lot of different variety of, of roses. Yeah, so after you came here on the flower bed, then what? Well, I stood and admired the flowers for a, while, a little while. Mm hmm. Alright then, I'll just stand and admire the flowers for a little while too. Ah, yes, I see. You're really trying to get inside my head, aren't you? Become the suspect as if you were, and so you can see how to prove my innocence. Not really. I just like flowers. <laughs> oh. They are very splendid. Every flower is in full bloom. And they smell divine. Okay, that's a thing that I ne personally never worked for me that they say flowers have beautiful, uh, beautiful, have wonderful smells and smell divine or stuff like that. I've never noticed that. I smell a lot of flowers and for me they have barely any smell at all. Or even if they, do, or when they supposedly do have a smell, I don't notice it. I wonder if something wrong with my nose. Ernest, are you alright? We're staring at flowers, not at me, remember? Oh, I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to. Gosh. Well, I 
think we should investigate the area while we're here. That way we can enjoy the forest a little longer. Oh, it's the shady guy! He's back! Nice! Another puzzle, Jesus! This is a rather rare variety, actually. It's a real pig to grow. Oh, you know about flowers, don't you? Is that your field? No, just a hobby of mine, really. Actually, I'd I know a rather fun puzzle about flowers. Do you know it? Flower power. Yeah, I can, I can see why they would use that name, because it's very to, you know, make. And it's everywhere. Some mysterious flowers are growing with petals that change color when you touch them. Each flower has five petals, and any petals that are connected to by a strand are the same color. Wait, what? Each flower has five petals, and any petals that are connected to it's okay. Each flower needs to have five different colors, not including white. Select a petal cycle through the different colors. Colors. Petals that have a color from the beginning cannot be changed. Okay. So, for example, this one here needs to be the same, so it has to be green. One million zillion jillion dillion cotillion times later. I think I got it. This is an interesting one. Puzzles are made for solving. You did it. The flower bed is full of colorful flowers. Yeah, that one was confusing just for the simple fact that it's not just you putting a color, but it needs to be in the right spot. That's spot on, Miss Layton. I say you saw that very quickly, didn't you? I have a knack for puzzles. I haven't found one yet that I can't, couldn't solve. Gosh, how wonderful. You didn't believe me, do you? No, you don't believe me, do you? Not at all. I, I mean, I do believe you, of course. Well, anyway, they really are spectacular roses, aren't they? Definitely. You don't often see such a beautiful display. Someone who has obviously worked very hard in need to nurse them to their full glory like this. In, and we're enjoying them at just the right time. They are at their peak now. Just think, I could have missed this if I hadn't followed my nostrils. It must be my lucky day. Your lucky day? Aren't you forgetting that you've been accused of theft? You're a little odd, Ernest, aren't you? Odd, miss? Am I? Oh. Wait, how, how is this a puzzle? Stunning roses. Yep. How was... I'm confused. Oh. Nice. I thought I had to talk to this guy. Oh, I can go up here. Nice. Okay. Let's talk to you. Because apparently we need to do. Ah, that's presumably one of my fellow students over there. Hmm. He seems to be muttering to himself about something. Ah. How did I mess up so badly? Three out of ten. Ah. What a rubbish score. Still, no one needs to know. And no one will. Not the, not the way I dispose of my answer sheet. I really should study next time. <sighs> He's saying constantly. I wonder what the problem is. Easy. He's just a lousy student. Yes, I wonder. So we've enjoyed some pretty flowers, let's go back to retracing your steps. After the sand had drawn you here and you gazed at the flowers for a while, what did you do next? Oh well, you see, I went a bit closer to the flowers and um... Yes, you went a little closer, like this? Careful, miss! Sorry? 
No stepping close in that. It's dangerous. There's a goat poo on the ground. Goat poo? Yeah, that was close. I nearly, I very nearly trodden in it. Why is there a goat poo there? Yes, I, I did tread in it earlier. Oh no. Oh yes. You are lucky, aren't you? What's all this uh, goat poo doing here anyway? Well, you see, they keep goats here on the campus. There's a little goat shed just a bit further on. You know you're around, way around here very well for someone on their first day. That's because after I trod in the poo, I was looking for somewhere to wash off my shoe. I came across a goat shed then, you see. Ah, so that's where you went next, is it? You really were determined not to actually get into the faculty building, weren't you? I'm... I'm a bad student. <laughs> well, come along then. Let's go over to this goat shed. My terrible bad luck had led me to a pile of goat poo. Was it really relevant to Miss Layton's investigation? I couldn't hide my doubts, but nevertheless, I took her to the goat shed. <laughs> 